Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to obtain the formula for finding the value of 1 by n, where n is a real number using Newton Raphson's method. And using that, we are going to evaluate 1 by 26, correcting to 4 decimal places. Let's take x as 1 by n. Now, taking n here and the x to the other side, we get n equal to 1 by x and using this let's write the function f of x by bringing all terms to one side. Now its derivative f dash of x is n is a constant so which is 0 minus 1 by x is minus 1 by x square with a negative sign so it becomes plus 1 by x square. Now by Newton Raphson's formula x n plus 1 is x n minus f of x n by f dash of x n and from this we take x n as it is f x n is n minus 1 by x n within a bracket divided by 1 by x n square. Now, rearranging this, it is xn minus, this will come to the numerator as a product, xn square into n minus 1 by xn. Now, multiplying this inside, we get xn minus n xn square plus, after multiplying this, we left with only xn. So, totally it is 2xn minus n into xn square. So this is our xn plus 1. Now using this we are going to find the value of 1 by 26. Therefore the value of n is 26. So let us rewrite this formula xn plus 1 is 2xn minus 26xn square. Now already we know 1 by 25 is 0 0.04. So we are going to take the closer value of 1 by 26. So we choose x naught as 0 0.04. So from this we are going to evaluate x1. x1 is writing the formula where substituting n as 0 we get x1 equal to 2x naught minus 26 x naught square. Now this is 2 into 0 0.04 minus 26 into 0 0.04 whole square. Now using calculator we take 2 into 0 0.04 minus 26 into 0 0.04 its square value. Totally this is 0 0.0384 0 0.0384 This is our x1 Using the x1 Let us find x2 By writing 2x1 minus 26x1 square So this is 2 into 0 0.0384 Minus 26 into 0 0.0384 Using calculator, it is 2 into 0 0.0384 minus 26 into 0 0.0384, it is square. And totally, it is 0 0.03846. Let us write square here. And after rounding up to 4 decimal places, it is 0 0.038. And uh, it will become 5. So this is our x2. Now x3 is 2x2 minus 26x2 square. Now this is 2 into 0 0.0385 minus 26 into 0 0.0385. 
2.385 square. Now using calculator, it is 2 into 0 0.0385 minus 26 into 0 0.0385 square. So after rounding off, 0 0.0385. 0.0385 so we get two consecutive same value x2 and x3 let's write it here x2 equal to x3 equal to 0.0385 so the better approximate root is 0.0385 here root in the sense the value of 1 by 26. The value is 0 0.0385.